Hello, my name is Juan Carlos, and today I want to talk about business negotiations, which I consider to be an important topic of business communications inside any business or company. First of all, what is negotiation? The word negotiation derives from a Latin word that means bargaining. Negotiation actually means a discussion intended to produce an agreement. This discussion involves two parties with different needs that want to achieve a common solution. We have basically two negotiation styles. The first one is competitive which assumes a win or lose situation in which the negotiation parties have opposing interests. The second one is cooperative. This is based on a win-win mentality and is designed to increase joint gains. The process of negotiation is designed to achieve the desired results in the company's transaction. The basic stages of negotiation may be listed as First, preparations. This may involve identifying what the needs are, planning thoroughly, and identifying alternatives and prioritizing issues. The second stage is discussion. This stage involves further discussion of the issues with the members so as to choose the best strategies before the actual negotiation, which include being aware that no can be the opening position, being aware of the reluctant buyer or seller point, revising strategies, and considering many options. The third stage is the proposal that is to be presented depends upon the existing needs of the presenter and revolves around a set of issues and alternatives that may be a threat or opportunity. And finally, the fourth stage is agreement. This comprises of the accepted negotiation proposal that is in accordance with the norms of both the negotiation and parties. The most important characteristics of negotiation are It requires two parties. A negotiation is a meeting between two parties over issues. It is a continuous process. A negotiation is a continuous process in an, or in an industrial or in a business organization. Usually, there is no winner or loser. Negotiation needs not to have a winner or loser. In every negotiation, there are opportunities to be created. It requires flexibility. The parties which are involved in negotiation need to be flexible. It is a process, not an event. It is a process involving briefing and creating a climax of discussion and understanding each other. It needs effective communication. Negotiation needs to be based on effective communication. Learning how to communicate and improve on interpersonal skills is an important part of business communication. Negotiation never stops. It is the way that individuals with different values and interests find constructive ways to live and work together in harmony. The ability to negotiate successfully with exemplary interpersonal skills is essential to success in all your interactions with other people. The word ask is the most powerful word in business communication and negotiation. Most people are so paralyzed by the fear of rejection and disapproval that they are afraid to ask for anything out of the ordinary. They just accept what is offered to them and hope for the best. It is important that you calmly and confidently ask for any kind of price or term that is remotely within reason. You will be quite astonished at the better deal you will get by simply asking for a lower price if you're buying and asking for a higher price if you're selling. An important thing to remember when learning how to negotiate is that everything is negotiable. All prices and terms are set by someone on some basis. Most prices and terms are merely guesses at what the other person will accept. They are never written in stone. Good communication skills are the cornerstone of good negotiation skills. Negotiation plays an important role in the small business, and all workers must rely on their communication skills to make sure those negotiations go smoothly. Some tips for good communication are The first, the time frame. One of the most important communication skills business people can learn is knowing the best time to communicate sensitive information. For example, it would be inappropriate to negotiate a salary during an interview, but acceptable after a job offer has been made. Next, we have knowledge of audience. Good communicators need to have an understanding of their audience and know how to get information across to that audience. For example, if you are a consultant trying to negotiate a marketing plan with a client, understanding that client's goals for their business will help you be as persuasive as possible. Then, in authority. Being able to be clear is essential for good communication and good negotiation to take place. Although most people don't like to negotiate, avoiding confrontation by being unclear will not help in this situation. For example, you might say, I agree that we need a new employee handbook, and I'm more than happy to work on one with you, but there are a few things in your current outline that I could not sign my name to. Finally, we have listening. Good communicators know how to understand what another person is saying, to synthesize it with their own thoughts, and to begin to verbalize that synthesis to work toward a solution or a negotiation. Good communicators check with each other to ensure that they understand the arguments at hand, before breaking them into smaller components that can be combined as a part of a negotiation. Communication inside any kind of business is essential, and an important skill for everyone to learn is how to negotiate. Nobody is born with that ability, which with practice anyone can master and implement it in their daily life. After that, many positive changes can be seen.